So everyone's heard of The Simpsons, right? And because it's so popular and it's been running for so long, so many fan theories have come out about various aspects of the show, and I'm going to propose another one. Centred around this guy, Professor John Frink. See, in season 3, episode 24, we learn that Frink has a wife and son. Hi, just like my son here. He can execute the barrel roll, loop-de-loop, then bring it in for the perfect landing. Oh, Oh dear, my wife is going to kill me. However, we never meet this wife and we never hear about her at any other point during the series. And this son only appears in one other episode in season 15. So what happened to them? Where did they go? In fact, on top of the fact that we never see this wife, we actively hear about how lonely Frink is. So we know Frink is this mad inventor, right? But what if one of his inventions went wrong in the lab and it ended up killing his wife and son? So to fix this, he built a time machine to go back in time and bring them back. And this loop is like the length of an episode. So at the end of each episode, he has to go back in time again because he's tried and failed. And then he starts again and that's a whole new episode. But each time he goes back, he creates an entirely new timeline. So we have a new timeline, which is a new episode, and thus a new series of events occurs. See, we know Frink plays around with the idea of time travel. In season 16, episode 15, entitled Future Drama, he shows Bart and Lisa their future through this invention of his. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could create a fully functioning time machine. And I think this is exactly what he did pretty early on after his wife and son died. See, this would explain why no one ages in the show. It's because they're basically reliving the same period of time, just different versions of that time as Frank goes, keeps going back and forward to change history. See, this would help explain various inconsistencies in the show from episode to episode. Like why the fact they're all best friends with Nelson in one episode and then in the next they're sworn enemies again. Because things change from timeline to timeline or episode to episode. Or why Bart and Lisa start the same school year over and over again. As if it's for the first time. Because it is. It's the same period of time being redone. Furthermore, in season 26, we see Frank create an antique grief pill. And what if this isn't for the reason given in the episode? What if it's because he literally just needs to get rid of his grief over the loss of his wife and son, as well as his failure thus far to bring them back? My final invention, a pill that removes all grief. (laughs) Ah. Ah. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, we do see Frink's son at one other point during the series run. In season 15, episode 9, we see Frink and his son enter a father-son robot battle contest against Bart and Homer. But what if this is all just one big dream sequence that Frink has dreamt up, having father-son bonding time with the son that he's lost? So, to sum everything up, Frink's wife and son died in a tragic accident in the lab during one of his experiments. In order to rectify this, he built a time machine to undo the accident and bring them back. However, time travel is tricky, so he never quite manages it. So he tries it over and over and over again. Each time he tries, it creates a new timeline, and these are what the new episodes are. Each episode is a new timeline where he's gone back to try and fix things.